This video explains how to copy a data frame to the clipboard in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example data frame, as you can see in lines 2 to 4 of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 5 of the code. And then you can see that we have created an example data frame containing six rows and the three columns x1, x2 and x3. Now, if we want to copy this data frame to the clipboard, then we can simply use the write clip function, as you can see in line seven of the code. So within the write clip function, we simply need to specify the name of our data frame. So in this case, the name of our data frame is data. So after running line seven of the code, our data frame is copied to the clipboard and we can see that by using the short code control V. So I'm on a Windows machine. So for that reason, I'm using the short code control V. So if I am clicking on the console window and then if I'm using the short code control V, you can see that our data was pasted to the RStudio console. We could also create a new text file. So as you can see, I have opened a simple text editor file. And now if I once again use the short code control V, you can see that our data set has been pasted to this text file. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.